Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites where I have new videos every Tuesday. I also share an extra monthly video or Zoom call with my patrons. And if you're interested in finding out about supporting me over there, the link is always down there in the description. Today's video is gonna be about Erin Condren's Softbound Planners. I have the vertical in the larger size and I have the horizontal in the A5 size. So that's what we're gonna look at today and kind of compare the vertical in this softbound with my vertical seven by nine coiled life planner. So we're gonna go through that. These softbounds do not release at the same time that the coiled planners release. So all their other planners besides softbounds, so their agenda inserts, their dailies, all their other planners release usually, I, I don't have the dates, but it's usually like the very end of April or sometimes the first week of May. And that's because they released the academic year versions and they also released the calendar year versions or the 18 months all at that same time. But these softbounds do not release until the fall, usually around October. They only come in calendar year. They don't come in academic year. They don't come in 18 months. But I still think it's a great option that a lot of people use from Erin Condren. I did pick up both of these. This one was for my mom to see. She wanted to try this out. She's been using Simplified Weekly for quite, I don't know how many years, but at least for the past year, she's used Simplified Weekly, which is a horizontal layout. So she's gonna give this one a try and she has not come by to pick up her book yet. So this is hers and she's gonna try it and compare it and see if she likes it better than Simplified. She has used Erin Condren planners in the past. She just doesn't need a planner as big as the Coiled Life Planner. And so she thought this might be a good fit. I am actually using this exact one right now, but I didn't want to show it all being written in for my son for his homeschool right now, but not just homeschool, kind of like habits and attitude, but also with keeping track of his homeschool every week. I've been using it for several months now and it is working so well. I just talked about that and shared it for the first time. It will not his inside information in it, but I shared kind of how I was using it in my most recent Q1 planning update video. If you're new here, I give a planning update every quarter. So I do a big like 2022 stack video at the beginning of the year of every planner and journal that I'm starting the year with and that I think I'm going to use for the year. And then every quarter at the end of that quarter, I give a planning update. And I have a whole playlist of those for every year. So you should easily be able to find those planning updates and they're divided out by year. And my sister has given her planning updates for the past like two years. Um, we're not gonna be doing hers every quarter this year. I think she might just do a mid-year check-in and an end-year check-in if we do it. She did just give an update where we did a Zoom call together at the beginning of, or the end of last year for this year. Anyway, so she's up there too with her own under that playlist. I didn't even have this in my 2022 stack video, but then it showed up in my quarter one planning update video because it was something I started it near the beginning of the year, but I didn't have it or think I was gonna use it when I filmed my stack video back in December. So that's a new addition. And if you're interested in finding out, you know, seeing my planning, then that is a place for you to go. All right, let's start by walking through this big, big life planner. I think they're an eight by 10 page. It is, it's almost eight by 10. And it is 80 pound paper, like they have it listed as 80 pound Mohawk paper, just like their coiled life planner, but it does not have the same tooth to it. So tooth is texture and this life planner paper, I'm just gonna turn to a month that's not filled in. This life planner paper, it has more, a little more texture to it. That means it grabs the ink. So like pens with a lot of ink, it grabs them well, really inky pens and soaks them in with that little bit of texture. But some people like a more smooth paper, not slick at all, but just more smooth. And that is this planner for you. It is definitely a more smooth paper, but still very thick and nice. Your edges have those gilded edges in gold on this one with the mid-century circles. And you have one ribbon bookmark. It is a satin ribbon bookmark. It does not pull. It's not long enough to go all the way to the edge because it would have to be hang super long for an eight by 10 planner. So I can understand that. And then here's a week that I just kind of started playing with it and filling in things. Um, I think when I was gonna do the review video and then I never ended up fitting in the review video to my schedule. 
And so I wish it wasn't this late in the season that I was doing this because I know these just went on sale and I don't think they'll even be here for that much longer. But I thought that this would help you when they come out this fall because they have not changed these like every year. They pretty much stay the same just with a new design on the covers, the new gear design on the little monthly dashboards. But other than that, they stay the same size and using the same flow and everything. So I thought this would help you even when they release the 2023 calendar year ones, you know, into September, beginning of October type of thing. And they're definitely always released by mid-October, I believe. I should really start writing down that date so I can keep track of it because it's a question I get a lot. So here's my pen test. I just wrote across that week too, but you can see in this 80 pound paper, it has like about the same look as the Erin Condren Coiled Life Planner. You can see through, you know, a tiny bit of show through, but nothing substantial and nothing bleeding through at all. If you look at the size here of the pages, this is the big question. People who don't want to coil in the middle and who also want bigger boxes or a bigger page to write on, this might be your answer. So here is the size. And if the coil's hanging off, you know, you get a good inch here and a good like inch and a half here at the bottom in this planner, or maybe an inch at the bottom because that was not pushed down all the way. Yeah, I would say an inch here and an inch here because this is seven by nine. That's eight by 10. So it is an inch. It is an inch on each side. Your boxes here come out to, we're gonna have to do centimeters to get exact here, like 4.2 centimeters in width. And these boxes are like three point, oh boy, I don't have all my reading glasses, you guys, 3.8 centimeters in width. And if you're not counting the color there, then these are like 4.8 or exactly two inches. And across these are almost exactly one and a half inches. All the sticker companies do make their kits to fit these size of boxes, which are the two inch by one and a half inch. So you might have an issue with that. I don't know a lot about stickers, but if you're wanting to use stickers, the sticker kits are not going to fit this because you're going a little over your one and a half and you're going um, to like two and a quarter on here. And centimeter wise, the length on this is 5.5. .5. I really wish that they would put all these box measurements on their site because that is a question that I know a lot of people with stickers or just wanting to compare sizes comes up a lot when the planners are first released. If they just had the consistent sizing up there, that would be so helpful. I'm going to leave this laid here when we look at just the basic layout design because I think it's helpful if you're comparing them. This space, you just, it feels a lot bigger. You have a lot more room. Here, if you have just bigger handwriting or you need, you want to write like longer to-dos because a lot of times my to-dos get cut off here because it's a short space. If you're counting even the white space on the side here, you, you have, you know, a little over two inches on those. And counting the white space on the side here, you have a little under two inches. So it's a definitely a bigger space. You can tell just by looking. You still have the monthly calendars down there. You have the exact same layout, it is just bigger. You can tell from the date being bigger, your header being bigger up here. So you could definitely fit more up here in the header if you want to write like the weather every day or a workout every day or your kid's work schedule every day. It's just, it's a bigger header. And we'll pop it to this side. And if you look at this side, you know, your boxes are just bigger. There is more room to write and you don't have a coil. But you do have to think that it takes up more room laid out on your desk. I think they've done a good job on the lay flat design, but you do have to massage it. Like wherever you're gonna turn to, you know, as you go through the year, you've got to give it a good massage. And if it's laying open all the time, I think it's going to, it's gonna learn to stay there. But a lot of times if I'm using a book like this, I will like lay a heavy book on it at night. If it's something I'm always going to leave out and open to use, lay a heavy book on it every week at night. And then it just, it completely lays flat. It helps train it faster. But as you can see, it only puffs up a little bit and that's like the first time I've ever opened it to the middle of this book. So we're just gonna go ahead from the beginning. The end pages are covered in a beautiful blue, like I call it the iconic Erin Condren aqua color. And then you come to your nameplate page. This is my life. This year's design was the mid-century circles. I have no idea what 2023 will be. It will be really interesting to see. 
And then you have this full page with the whole year at a glance and a lot of notes room to be able to look for vacations, days off school, make notes, even about appointments. You have that room. You have your 12 boxes, just like in your coiled life planner, once again, open so that you can use them for whatever you want. If it, if it wasn't even monthly boxes that you wanted, you just have 12 boxes. You could use these for working on goals. I use mine for writing. I do use them for months and I use them for writing bills that are only due like one to four times a year. And even though I think almost all those are automatically withdrawn, I just like to know like when the HOA is being paid, when the life insurance being is being withdrawn, those type of things, withdrawn. Then you have your heritage and awareness observances. They have all those listed here, along with just a big notes page. And I just love the mid-century circles sprinkled up there. It really is just such a happy pattern to me and color-wise. And then you have your quotes that you have on the typical tabbed page of the Life Planner. These are not tabbed, but Erin Condren does sell monthly tabs. And you can clip those on this page, not clip them, stick those monthly tabs on this page and have your months tabbed so that it will open to your month if you would like to add those tabs. Before every month, you have a notes page. So that could be your list for the month. It could be journaling for the month, mind mapping for the month, whatever you want. Then you go to your monthly layout. It's just like your life planner, but in case you're not familiar, it's a Sunday start. The days of the previous month are in very, very light gray. And if you had any of going into the future month, it would be also in light gray. You have a note space every month. And so these boxes are just bigger. They are bigger because your pages are a lot bigger. So if you're someone who really utilizes this monthly layout and likes a bigger space, has bigger handwriting, or just has a lot of events, then you might really appreciate this. And I know some people love to look at their monthly layout without a coil in the middle of it. Then you go straight into same design as your coil life planner, a notes page for the month, and your dashboard planning page. Your dashboard is not labeled anywhere, so you can use these sections for whatever you want. You could put appointments and birthdays in here, but you definitely don't have to. You could put your goals for the month here, your main to-dos for the month, or as the to-do as the month goes on, you could be writing good things that happen that month in here. I actually love things that prompt me to do that because as the weeks pass by, I don't really notate those like good things that are just little moments of things that happen places. But if I have prompted myself to do it somewhere like this, then I do just as they happen. And then at the end of the month to go back and read those things and look at like, wow, how blessed I am. And even if it was a really challenging month or a really hard month for many reasons to look back on all the blessings and good things is really a good practice for me. And I actually am not doing that anywhere right now in my planners. So this in this little video is gonna prompt me to start because I have done it in the past and I really like that. I have done that in my planner perfect in the past, but I am not currently doing it. This could be for like your top four main goals. Um, I'm just throwing out ideas here because people say they like them. This here could be your birthdays and anniversaries if you're using this for something else. This could be just for journaling or notes for the month, or it could be for a mind map or habit tracking for the month because that would definitely fit down there perfectly in the dot grid. So I love that they've left it open with no labels because I actually like that we get to come in and make it work for us. And we might not even use it for the same thing every month and not having the labels there really helps with that to be able to change as each month I need something different possibly or every couple months or every season as life changes a lot. Like if you're a homeschool mom or if your kids are in school, things change a lot on different seasons. You have the same flow and the same colors as your coiled life planner. If you're not familiar, there is a different color for every single month and you have this ombre effect. I like to use my three boxes. I've used the vo vertical coiled life planner for I believe four years now. I like to use the top box for any appointments or errands or anything outside of the house. And sometimes I also use it just for like, if I don't have appointments or errands that day, like the big thing that needs to happen that day. And then all my other to-dos that I just think of flow into these other boxes here. So I don't necessarily have these divided out 
into anything, but my top box is definitely for those appointments and errands. A lot of times I write the weather down in the shaded box, and I used to write my workout in the shaded box, but I've actually been using a separate Erin Condren planner for that just because I had it. I've been using another vertical Erin Condren planner for my workouts and leaving that downstairs on my kitchen desk since that's where I work out. Yeah, been keeping track of it there. So not so much writing that there, but this works great for weather or dinner or workouts or your kid's work schedule, having that different section down there. And so that is the flow of your months in here. And you just go into your next month in which you have that extra notes page, you have your monthly layout, and then you have your notes and your monthly dashboard. And then you go into your weeks and your color does switch midweek when your new month starts. I actually love that. It's such a good visual for me showing a new month starting in a fresh color. I love the fonts of Erin Condren and the colors in Erin Condren. They make me so happy. And that is the thing that has kept me in this planner using the Coiled Life Planner for so long. And if you throw just a few of their stickers in there, I love to sticker with the monthly collection sticker book from Erin Condren. There's a page per month. And they come out with that every fall too. So that is not at launch time. That is when these planners around the time when they're released. And I have a whole video about how I sticker my Erin Condren planner all at once for the whole year at once. So it's done because I'm a functional planner, but I do love those splatters of joyful stickers. I will link that video down here in the description in case you're interested and want to check that out. So that is the flow of your planner. I will show you each month's color. If you're new and you don't know what it is, March is a light green. April is a purple, a beautiful purple. I have been so attracted to purple in the past year. May is a peach. Honestly, May is probably, but it looks more like light pink to me now and less peach. It's probably my least favorite color when it was more peachy because it just wasn't as vibrant and happy to me. And that's like Mother's Day month. And I wanted it to be a little more pink rather than peach. All the other monthly colors I absolutely love. June. See, this one looks more, so the colors also, this is something to mention. For some reason, they don't print on these pages the same. So you can already see how I've stickered throughout the year in here. But it's green. This is the true color for June in the Erin Condren Life Planner. But in this planner, for some reason, let's look at the monthly layout or the quote. Yeah, it looks more blue. So the colors don't quite print on here. Ooh, that's probably why it didn't look peach. Now it's just hitting me. Yes, because it definitely looks more peach in here, I think. So the colors don't exactly translate. Maybe the ink the same on this paper. July is in navy. And let's see what that looks like in here. Well, we have to go back to my July in the beginning because I use the academic year, 12 months. So mine is very written in and used here. I mean, the color is closer. I think June is the only one that's really off to me. Maybe it's just the lighting that I have going on here. We'll see when I edit it what it looks like. This is looking greenish on that page. So maybe with the lighting, I was just off there. August is a golden yellow. And then you have September, which is a beautiful like purple but a kind of a deeper purple. October orange, because what else could October be? But that looks almost more peach because it's so light orange. November is a blue, but this is looking more purple to me here. So that's what I'm saying. I really don't think the colors exactly match up with the life planner. I'll have to look on my screen and see what those look like. But November is a blue and December is a green, kind of like a lime green. Then your planner ends and you don't have much at the end. You have two lined notes pages and then you have your making your appointments for 2023 page. So I do like how they give this to you if you need to write doctor appointments, dentist appointments, vacations, things for school. Before you get your next planner, they have four slots under each month and some note room at the bottom. And that is the end. They end with a beautiful quote. And that's the end of the Softbound 8x10 Life Planner. This does come in an hourly also. I believe that both sizes come in the Focused Collection version, which is the more muted, professional, if you don't want the look of all the colors version. So they have a, little, a lot of different options of Softbounds. 
These are just the two that I have to share with you. This is the A5 size. It's 5.8 by 8.2, 192 pages. And let's take a look at this one. Like I said, this is the one that I've been using for my son's homeschool. And it has been going so well. And I can't wait for my mom to try it out just because I want to hear if she likes it or the Simplified better. But like I said, you do have to give it a little massage and you have the same flow. You have your whole 12 months up front with notes room. You have your 12 boxes. Everything's just smaller because they five size your heritage and awareness observances in a notes page. Your notes page to start out January. And then you have your January calendar, which of course everything is smaller. All your holidays are noted on your calendar. I did not mention that in the bigger version. Your notes page and your dashboard page for the month. And then you go into your weekly layout. They do not have a vertical in this one for this year. I know it's been asked for a lot. So we'll see in 2023 if they come out with a vertical in the A5 size. But as of now, they don't have it. They do have an A5 size coiled of this same horizontal layout, colorful. They also have A5 size of other layouts that are not as colorful, like the Flora, I know, and I don't know what they have in the Focused collection in this size. So you can definitely check that out. I'll have my Erin Condren affiliate link to get to their website down here in the description. If you click through my affiliate link to go to their website when you make a purchase, that means I get credit for your sale and that helps support my channel to keep me going. It shows them how many people I bring to them, but I also make a small percentage of the sale for all the work that I put in here. I would greatly appreciate it if my content helps you and if you enjoy my videos, whenever you're making a purchase for any company that I have an affiliate link and they are all labeled down below in the description affiliate. If you just go to the website through that link, that is how I get credit. You will see nothing different about the website. Um, you still sign into your account and you get your points, but it is registering that I'm the one that brought you there. So thank you so much for going to that extra step when you make a purchase. You can also bookmark my affiliate, affiliate link on your computer and it should work every time you go to the Erin Condren site that way. And I also have a $10 off coupon if it is your first Erin Condren purchase. That's how I got started with Erin Condren. I used somebody's random $10 off coupon. I don't even know who's. Um, to make my purchase, there's no minimum to use that coupon. You just go to that link down here in the description labeled Erin Condren, $10 off your first purchase. You sign up for an account. You cannot have signed up for an account with that email with them before, or they will not send you the coupon. So even if you didn't make the purchase, but you did open account with them under that email, it won't work. So you have to have a new email. And if you sign up under your email, they will email you a $10 off coupon very quickly to use on your first purchase. And I also get a referral credit for that. So it's a win-win. That is down in the description. That's how that works. I know it can be really confusing with the two links and what they mean. This is a horizontal layout. The colors are the exact same that are in the Coiled Life Planner and in the bigger vertical version that I just shared with you, but this is horizontal. So you get your horizontal lines and then you get a shaded box. This layout really lends itself well to journaling, to writing a scripture a day, to checking in with your feelings or your goals every day. So I know there are horizontal planners out there who can plan horizontally. Generally, I love to plan vertically. It just works better with my mind and the way my brain thinks. But I love horizontal design, uh, horizontal layouts for journaling type of things or writing a scripture a day or checking in every day on goals or intentions because it just works perfectly for that. And if you don't want the shaded box for something else, if you are using it for journaling, you can just write all the way across the shaded box. Or that could be for something else along with your journaling. I love the way the colors rotate every month. You have a note space every day down every week, a notes or a list space for every week. And then you have a little calendar for the month that you're on. Holidays are noted on every day in all their planners. And that is the flow of the horizontal softbound. Like I said, this has been working perfect for our homeschool because I can keep track of what my son does every single day. And down here, I kind of make a habit tracker for him. And it's for me to keep track of kind of what got done every day so I can easily look for the whole week without kind of charting through every day. 
And it has just worked splendidly. He doesn't check this. He's at a stage right now where he is resisting any type of keeping track, planning in his early teenage years. I am keeping track. He doesn't even know. He hasn't even asked me about it. If he knew, he probably wouldn't care or want to look at it. So it is definitely just for me, but it is working out splendidly over the years. I've used so many different planners or just a notebook um, for homeschool. More, More than anything, I've used just a notebook. This has worked perfect for this year. I don't leave mine open because I shut it every night. And I don't have a problem opening it and writing in it. It stays open well enough, but you do have to massage it and work it. If you are wanting to leave it open all the time, I would like set a book on it, like I said, to train it sooner. So this is how your months look in some of the different colors, February and April being in the purple. You get one satin ribbon bookmarker, the same aqua color as in the big planner. And June, there's your green it definitely looks more green in here. It looks green. Yeah, it does. July is your blue. August is your golden yellow. October is your orange. November is your blue. I actually just love seeing the color change there midweek. I know that can bother some people who want the whole week to be one color, but I love to see the change of a month. And then December is your green. And the same thing at the end, you have two lined notes pages. So not a huge amount of notes pages in this planner, but there are those two notes pages every month plus the dashboard every month. So they are scattered throughout. And then you're planning for 2023 for your appointments and then the same ending to this planner. So I think softbound planners are a great option with Erin Condren. If you want something more portable to stick in your bag, you can definitely buy one of their planner bands that keeps it shut to go in your bag every single day or backpack. Or if you just don't like to have the coil, or if you want a bigger page or you want a smaller page, I think their softbound line is a great option. I would love to hear from everyone down below on these, what you think about them. If you've tried their softbound line, I would especially love to hear from you and what you think. Once again, remember these planners only release in the fall and they only come in calendar year. And so they will come out for 2023 in October probably. I don't have any dates, so that's just my guessing based on previous years. All right, guys, I value your time. Thank you so much for spending it here with me. Take care of yourselves, take care of others, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.